There is just one week left of the season with Rangers playing Hearts in St Mirren this week. And then our full intention will turn to the transfer window where Rangers will be very busy with a squad overhaul bringing in new additions and seeing players leave the football club. Ahead of the window is being reported that Rangers have been handed a big boost in their pursuit of a Premier League star, of which we'll share with you in today's video. Not only that, but we'll also go over all the latest Rangers news for the last 24 hours. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys. Before we get into the video, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Michael Beal has earned more points at Rangers since his arrival at the club than Ange Postacoglu has achieved in the same period at Celtic. Pundit Kenny Miller pointed out the statistic with Beal having taken 55 points from his 21 league matches in charge at Ibrox. Postacoglu meanwhile has claimed one point fewer. Bills Rangers have won 18 of his league ties so far this season, drawing one and losing two since taking over in December. Postagoglu, on the other hand, has only lost once, winning 17 times and drawing three times in the same 21-game period. On sports scene, Miller said, What it means is that Rangers are back on track to finish the season on some level of a high. There were defeats pre-split against Aberdeen in the league fixture and to Celtic in the semi-final. Well, they have bounced back by avenging that defeat again against Aberdeen and with a fantastic win last week over Celtic last week. That was a real positive, convincing win against their rivals. It has given them a chance to finish with five wins in a row. It has also given them a chance now with those points dropped by Celtic against St Mirren yesterday to finish in Michael's time as a Rangers manager with more points than Ange and Celtic have. I know it's slight consolation. But what it has shown is that over a decent sample size of 20-odd games that Michael Bill and his Rangers team have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ange and Celtic in terms of points and they have gained. They still need to finish it off by beating Hearts at Ibrox and then St Mirren next week. But it's a chance to finish with some level of positivity ahead of what will be an exciting summer. Rangers and Celtic points total since Michael Beal arrived. Rangers 18 wins, 1 draw, 2 losses, total 55 points. Celtic, 17 wins, 3 draws, 1 loss, total 54 points. Just a quick one guys, we have got Rangers t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get back into today's video. Rangers have been handed a big boost in their pursuit to sign Arsenal's Austin Trusty, according to multiple reports. The Jazz have looked at Trusty as they eye up a summer move for the 24-year-old and sources have told us that a deal is doable. The centre-back position is one the light blues are expected to fill in the summer and the USA International is one target they are monitoring. It was revealed recently that the Gunners are willing to accept an offer for the defender in the upcoming transfer window. Trusty joined Mikel Arteta's side in January 2022 but didn't arrive at the Emirates until the summer after spending the second half of the 2021-2022 campaign on loan with his former club, Colorado Rapids. This season, the centre-back has been on loan at Birmingham City, where he was named the men's supporters player of the season last week. Trusty has made 48 appearances for the championship club across all competitions during the current campaign, and has four goals and two assists to his name in England's second division. Michael Beale is looking to add defensive reinforcements to his Rangers side as they prepare to lose centre-back Philippe Holanda when his contract expires at the end of the season. Summer signing John Suter has only recently returned to action after sustaining an injury shortly after his arrival in Glasgow that has kept him sidelined from George to the first season at Ibrox. Connor Golden and Ben Davies have been Bill's go-to centre-back pairing and is looking for cover after poor defensive showings when either of the pair have been absent. Forgotten Rangers right-back Matthias Swoski is on his way back to Ibrox, with Lech Poznan declining their exercise to buy out option after a disastrous loan spell. The 20-year-old Pole moved to Ibrox in January last year in a £400,000 deal from Lech Gdansk and made his debut in the Scottish Cup victory over Annan Athletic. However, he failed to make an impact and fell behind Scotland under-21 star Adam Devine as backup to Rangers captain James Tavernier. When he signed on loan at Lech Poznan, the club's sporting director, Thomas Razazda, said Matthias has been loaned to us until the end of the season, but we also have a guaranteed buyout option. However, his return to Polish football at Lech has not worked out well, and he just made two sub-appearances this season for the club in the league. 
and Lenk Poznan announced this week Zukowski would return to Rangers, where he still has two and a half years left and faces an uncertain future. They stated the four players we have on loan, Dominic Kowalak, Arthur Rudko, Herzegin Szelicvli and Matthew Zawoski will leave and return to their clubs. Nico Raskin has eased fears over any significant Rangers injury after he trudged off against Hibernian. The midfielder limped off in the second half after taking a knock to his knee following a collision. However, Raskin has confirmed to worry supporters that there is no serious issue. Having been flooded with messages over his fitness, Raskin shared an update on his Instagram story. Alongside an action shot of himself in the warm-up, he wrote, Nice three points today. Thanks for all the messages. I'm fine. Graham Sooners has revealed he has stepped away from his punditry duties to try and swim the English Channel to raise vital funds for charity. The former Rangers boss left his role at Sky Sports earlier this month after a decade of serving as a pundit. Speculation had linked Sooners with a return to Rangers in some capacity after a coffee with CEO James Bisgrove. However, Sooners' full focus is on attempting to swim the channel crossing to raise funds for Deborah's a life free of pain appeal. The charity supports people living with a rare, extremely painful genetic skin blistering condition, epidermesis bullosa. Sunez's motivation for the challenge, which could take up to 16 hours, comes after meeting Isla Grist, who is living with the condition. Atiri Sunez explained on live TV, It is the most horrendous disease. If you're infected by it, you must wake up every morning and say, Why me? It's a desperate situation. And then the parents have to deal with that, and that's why we're doing this. From the time I have spent with Isla and her family, I have seen firsthand the extreme pain that this devastating condition causes and the daily challenges it creates for them. I wanted to do something that could make a difference to Isla's life and to the lives of so many others living with EB, and the slightly crazy idea of swimming the English Channel was suggested. Now I'm not one to walk away from a challenge, but this is all new to me. Despite living by the sea for the past 16 years, I've never been in it, and Isla is the only reason I did. Alongside Isla's daddy, Andy, and the rest of the team, I'm determined to complete the channel crossing to raise awareness of EB and to raise the funds that Deborah so desperately needs. Please support me. Every pound raised gets us one step closer to a world where no one has to suffer with the pain of EB. A Deborah statement on the fundraiser read, Football legend and TV pundit Graham Sunez is playing his part to stop the pain of EB this summer by swimming the English Channel. Graham, who's faced many foe during his sporting career, will be taking on the formidable 21-mile stretch of water that lies between Dover and Calais. Although Graham won't be on his own, he'll be a part of a six-person team, he will still need all this physical and mental strength and the support of many people back home as possible to get him to the shores of France in a swim that could take up to 16 hours. We as a channel will donate, and I'll leave a link to donate in the description. Rangers fans, what do you make of the summer transfer window? And is Austin Trusty a player that you would like to see in a Rangers jersey in the summer? Let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's video. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Remember, we do have Rangers t-shirts available on our website, so do browse the collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.